What about the overall design of the movie? I think every piece locks together. Uh, he was using uh, the Japanese cameraman who, who did uh, work with him often and he gets the vivid, garish colours that um, uh, were, I think, part and parcel of the, uh, the revival of the, uh, the 70s uh, in, in terms of uh, general colours used in house decorating as well as people's clothes uh, and he also uh, ha has the same uh, every time you go into a new set it's immediately defined by uh, the, uh, the the decor of the building that uh, the, that you're in uh, and when they go to the uh, Hell's Angels or whatever it is the the place which uh, where uh, they, they first are confronted with uh, Liotta's villainy, and uh, which is obviously his natural milieu. Uh, the moment you you go through the door, you think this is something which is totally alien to uh, Charlie's uh, usual domain. Uh, and again, uh, even from the credit titles, which are very much a, a definition of New York from the. Uh, views from the river as you uh, go down and then you also see the barges carrying away the uh, uh, the, the rubbish uh, so it, it it's a very comprehensive uh, view of uh, the the uh, the place from which the story sets out uh, and the uh, the voyage into Pennsylvania first of all and then into Virginia, all very well divided and all very well signposted. Uh, I, I think it's uh, it's a script that knows its milieu, uh, which has been taken up by both the cameraman and the production designer uh, to give the actors the, the background that, uh, that they need to make their performances so convincing.